Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Windows 11 Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about Microsoft Windows 11 Edge Bar. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel to subscribe. If you're only looking for Windows 11 videos, there will be links in the description box below. So Edge Bar is a floating a sticky widget that sticks to your screen on the corner or on any side and it gives you access to uh, your favorite websites search bar news and other feeds and today in this video I'll show you how you can activate that and how you can use that so the first thing you're going to be doing is uh, you need to have Microsoft Edge browser and if you don't have that then you have to install the Edge browser and then once you have that then you're going to go to the browser settings which is going to be on the upper right corner and if you click on it and then here if you scroll down then you're going to see settings which is right here so click on that and here if you take a look on the left and if you're looking kind of in the middle you're going to see that edge bar so click on that so now in, on this screen you can control how you know the edge bar appears on your computer so here you can see that automatically open edge bar when the computer starts so if you check this box on or slide it to the right so what happens whenever you have your computer on the edge bar is going to appear automatically and if you'd like to just you know uh, open the edge bar or activate the edge bar one time then you have to just click here or here and then here you can just personalize your edge bar feed uh, which you'll have the option to do inside the edge bar as well so on my computer I don't have that activated I just you know activate whenever I need so let's click on here and I'm just going to minimize that and you can see here that the edge bar is active so this is kind of the default setting uh, I haven't changed anything so whenever you have the default setting it will show up your uh, some of the you know default websites for example here we have MSN and then here we have Bing and then here we have Outlook and actually there's another default site linked in which I deleted it so these uh, four websites would show by default and if you'd like to add it uh, or if you'd like to add more website then you have to just click here and then here you're going to have the option to add your favorite website so for example let's say if we search for amiddon.com and that should add it here and you can see that you know it added the website right here so after adding a website if you'd like to remove that then you have to just right click and then you can just hit remove then it will remove the edge uh, that website so that's one option now here you're going to see your weather and then here you're going to see your news feed and if you just scroll down then you can see that you know there's like you know market information and the games information and then there are lots of other information for example you have traffic and you have uh, news feed from some uh, news sites so basically you can manage all of these uh, so if you just like you know right click here then you can edit location and unit and you can do more settings and same here if you just uh, right click here uh, and actually if you just right click here then you're going to see that for each news you have the option to more stories like this or fewer so if you choose this it's just going to you know choose uh, or give you more information or news uh, you liked and it's going to you know eliminate the information or news you do not like and you have some more options here and then uh, same thing here uh, and let's say if you'd like to uh, remove this then you have the X bar right here then you can just like you know uh, get rid of it so you have to just click hide this story and same here and for market if you'd like to click here then it's going to give you more options and let's just you know uh, click more settings and here you can see that you know it's just going to give you a more option to from this page to control or manage your edge bar so for example information card you can just like you know uh, drag it to the left and it's not going to show on the feed and for each of these there is the option so for example for traffic you have that option too so we'll just minimize this one now here you can see that there is a pencil button so if you just click on it 
and it's basically taking you to the page where you can manage your interest and you can just like you know choose what type of news feed you want so for example i have uh, canada and world activated but you can like you know, activate technology and business and politics then from each section you can choose uh, whatever you want and then it's going to show those news from here so that's what f this button does and then here you can see that we have a button uh, which looks like there are three separate icons so let's click on it and see what happens so it looks like this is just to change your search language and right now we have uh, Canadian English then you have to choose something else you want so we'll just leave that here and this is a refresh button so if you just like you know click here it's just going to refresh your feed and then here we have uh, see more and if you click on here so it's just kind kind of giving you all the information you're looking here in brief on a web page and here you have like you know uh, access to more information so basically it's just like you know a broader version of the same feed you're looking at so let's just minimize this one and then here you have you see that there's a close button so if you just you know click here it's just going to close the edge bar from the right and then here if you see that you know uh, the minimize button so let's just click on it and see what happens so if we clicked on it then you see that you know this is the edge bar right here it's just kind of like you know uh, minimize that but it's still it's active and in order to reactivate that you have to just click on it and it's going to appear again so let's just minimize that I'd like to show you something else so this is actually floating and it's going to stay on top on whatever uh, like you know other application you have on your screen so for example if I let's say I'm going to uh, open up a screen and if I try to put it on top of it then you see that you know it doesn't go underneath it just stays on top so it's kind of floating on top of anything you put on your screen so that's something to remember so let's click on it again and here you see there is a pin bar so if you just like you know click on it it's going to unpin so for example let's click on it and it's just like you know changing its size so somehow it's putting those menus on the left from the right so I'm at this point uh, it's just like you know, pinning to the left or right of the menus uh, that's what it looks like to me and then here you see that there's another button enable auto hide so what happens if you click on it it's going to like you know uh, kind of make it slimmer and still it's going to stay on your uh, screen so just click on it and you can see that you have a slimmer version of the edge bar and then if you'd like to make it wider then you have to just click on it again and then you have the full edge bar right now and here we have a settings and more so let's just click on it and then here you can see that you know the layout you'd like to choose so for example I have the vertical layout but if you let click on search only layout then what's happened that you know it's just going to show you a screen like that uh, we're going to change it back and we're going to put it here and uh, let's go back here and then enable floating button which I showed you just before that you know that around button floats and then here you have the option to close it and uh, then here on top we have the Bing search button so you can just like you know search here even without going to the uh, website or going to a web page or going to uh, without going to bing.com so you have this option for Bing search uh, there's no option to change the search engine so you have to like you know search using uh, Bing because this is a Microsoft Edge bar and that's what they want so you know they are forcing you to use Bing if you're using Edge bar and then here are the website I showed you before and looks like that's basically all you have here and uh, so the edge bar is kind of like you know uh, some co old conceptions uh, putting it into a new bottle so it's just like you know uh, trying to uh, make something accessible right away from your screen without opening up uh, you know websites or anything and um, there are like you know several other way you can manage or customize which I showed you uh, some of them but if you'd like to uh, you know see what else you can do then definitely you can just like you know go to these pages and just you know check through all of them but as of right now I'm not using a lot uh, 
and I'm not even sure that you know I'm going to be using uh, all the time but I just like you know open up uh, open this up sometimes and I'm just uh, trying to see if there's something interesting but I doubt that this is going to be my like kind of 24 hour uh, companion all the time but I think the idea is not bad but I'm gonna have to see that you know whether uh, I can uh, keep using it or I just use it once in a while from the browser itself so that's all for today thank you for watching this video there will be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly thank you